Hi, and welcome to Frederick County Public Library's virtual program. Today is snow day, and I have a STEM project on how to make and melt a baking soda snowman inside your house. My name is Miss Shelba from Thurmont Regional Library, and I love snowmen. Let's get started. These are the supplies that are going to be needed to make the baking soda snowman. First, you'll need baking soda, and eventually we'll need white vinegar. You'll need water. If you have little bathroom cups, that might be an easy way to mold the snowman. Some um, orange foam and googly eyes, a pipette, or if you have a straw, that would be fine. You may need some cling wrap to help form them and a container to put them in um, so that you can freeze them. If you're going to make these, it may be good to do them in the morning and then in the afternoon or even the next day do your melting part of this project. Start by slowly adding water to a good load of baking soda. You want to add just enough until you get it crumbly but it make to, to make a packable dough. It shouldn't be runny or soupy. You will have to see how crumbly you need it. I had about three cups of baking soda and I've just barely used over a little over a half a cup of water. Once you have that, make snowballs. You want to get it so that it'll shape into a ball and stay together. And then you can put your googly eyes and your nose in. And it might be a good idea to wrap the plastic around them so that they freeze in a nice hard snowball-like lump. If you'd like to try using a cup as your mold, you want to put the googly eyes and the nose piece down in the bottom of the cup first and then pack in the baking soda mixture on top of it. Then you can turn it out and sometimes you have to rearrange the eyes and the nose, but it gives your snowman a little bit more shape. So either free form or using the cup method, either one is great. And then you're going to get them all ready and put them in the freezer. And remember, the longer they freeze, the better this will work out. Here are the snowmen all ready for the freezer. The snowmen have been in the freezer all night since yesterday afternoon. Now we're ready to see if we can melt the snowmen. As with any experiments, take caution not to get any splashes in your eyes and your clothes should be protected. It's also a good idea to place a plate or a tray or a bowl under the snowman to catch any liquid or mess that may happen with the melting process. If you have a dropper, you may use a dropper and just squeeze to get the liquid to come up into the dropper or if you have a straw, you can use a straw and be sure to place your finger over the end of the straw when you put it in and that will create a suction that you can actually take a little bit of um, liquid in your straw. So let's see what happens. Let's try the blue bowl first with the straw. Oh gee, maybe my straw's not going to work so good. Well, let's try the dropper. Okay, so here we go. You could count the drops that you put on your snowman. Um, can you see what it's doing to him? Maybe he needs a lot. Oh, there we're getting some fizzing action. Um, and let's see if we can just kind of really give him a bath with the... Oh, that's a good reaction we're getting now. As we begin to place the vinegar on the snowman, what do you see happening? The, the mixture quickly foams and bubbles up with carbon dioxide gas. The science behind this is that baking soda and vinegar react chemically because one is a base and one is an acid. Baking soda is a base and it's a basic compound called sodium bicarbonate and vinegar is a diluted or watered down solution that contains acetic acid. Oh, we lost an eye. Or it slid. The baking soda and vinegar reaction is actually two separate reactions. The first reaction is the acid-base reaction 
and when the vinegar and baking soda are first mixed together, hydrogen ions in the vinegar react with the sodium bicarbonate ions in the baking soda. The result of this initial reaction is two new chemicals, carbonic acid and sodium acetate. The second reaction is a decomposition or a breaking down reaction. The carbonic acid formed as a result of the first reaction immediately begins to decompose into water and carbon dioxide gas. Just like carbon dioxide bubbles in a soda or carbonated drink, the carbon dioxide that formed as the carbonic acid decomposed rises to the top of the mixture and this creates the bubbles and foam you see when the baking soda and vinegar mix. So our snowman is getting pretty melted, but because it was frozen, it seems like it is taking quite a long time for him to totally melt. And we can try this one. It's pretty cool that such a fun experiment can help us learn about chemical reactions. So I hope you try this at home and have a lot of fun with it. Um, it's, it's really kind of a neat thing to do and it's actually fun to play with the baking soda and water mixture because they are kind of like cold snowballs. And then you get to use the vinegar the next day and see what happens. So thanks for joining me today. It was super fun. Have a great day.